Ada Boost, short for Adaptive Boosting, is a machine learning meter algorithm formulated by Yoa Freund and Robert Shapire who won the GAR Paragraph Dell Prize in 2003 for their work. It can be used in conjunction with many other types of learning algorithms to improve their performance. The output of the other learning algorithms is combined into a weighted sum that represents the final output of the boosted classifier. Ada Boost is adaptive in the sense that subsequent weak learners are tweaked in favor of those instances misclassified by previous classifiers. Ada Boost is sensitive to noisy data and outliers. In some problems, however, it can be less susceptible to the overfitting problem than other learning algorithms. The individual learners can be weak, but as long as the performance of each one is slightly better than random guessing, the final model can be proven to converge to a strong learner. While every learning algorithm will tend to suit some problem types better than others, and will typically have many different parameters and configurations to be adjusted before achieving optimal performance on a data set, Ada Boost is often referred to as the best out of the box classifier. When used with decision tree learning, information gathered at each stage of the Ada Boost algorithm about the relative hardness of each training sample is fed into the tree growing algorithm such that later trees tend to focus on harder to classify examples. Overview Problems in machine learning often suffer from the curse of dimensionality. A euro each sample may consist of a huge number of potential features and evaluating every feature can reduce not only the speed of classifier training and execution, but in fact reduce predictive power, per the Hughes effect. Unlike neural networks and SVMs, the Ada Boost training process selects only those features known to improve the predictive power of the model, reducing dimensionality and potentially improving execution time as irrelevant features do not need to be computed. Equals training equals Ada Boost refers to a particular method of training a boosted classifier. A boost classifier is a classifier in the form where each is a weak learner that takes an object as input and returns a real valued result indicating the class of the object. The sign of the weak learner output identifies the predicted object class and the absolute value gives the confidence in that classification. Similarly, the layer classifier will be positive if the sample is believed to be in the positive class and negative otherwise. Each weak learner produces an output, hypothesis, for each sample in the training set. At each iteration, a weak learner is selected and assigned a coefficient such that the sum training error of the resulting stage boost classifier is minimized. Here is the boosted classifier that has been built up to the previous stage of training is some error function and is the weak learner that is being considered for addition to the final classifier. Equals weighting equals, at each iteration of the training process, a weight is assigned to each sample in the training set equal to the current error on that sample. These weights can be used to inform the training of the weak learner, for instance, decision trees can be grown that favor splitting sets of samples with high weights. Derivation, this derivation follows Rojas. Suppose we have a data set where each item has an associated class, and a set of weak classifiers each of which outputs a classification for each item. After the th iteration our boosted classifier is a linear combination of the weak classifiers of the form. At the th iteration we want to extend this to a better boosted classifier by adding a multiple of one of the weak classifiers. So it remains to determine which weak classifier is the best choice for, and what its weight should be. We define the total error of to be the sum of its exponential loss on each data point, given as follows. Letting and for, we have. We can split this summation between those data points that are correctly classified by and those which are misclassified. Since the only part of the right hand side of this equation that depends on is, we see that the that minimizes is the one that minimizes, that is the weak classifier with the lowest weighted error. In order to determine the desired weight that minimizes with the that we just determined, we differentiate. Setting this to zero and solving for yields. We calculate the weighted error rate of the weak classifier to be, so it follows that. Which is the negative logit function multiplied by 0.5. Thus we have derived the Ada boost algorithm, at each iteration, choose the classifier which minimizes the total weighted error, use this to calculate the error rate use this to calculate the weight, and finally use this to improve the boosted classifier to. Statistical understanding of boosting. 
boosting is a form of linear regression in which the features of each sample are the outputs of some weak learner applied to. Specifically, in the case where all weak learners are known a priori, ADA boost corresponds to a single iteration of the backfitting algorithm in which the smoothing splines are the minimizers of, that is, fits an exponential cost function and is linear with respect to the observation. Thus, boosting is seen to be a specific type of linear regression. While regression tries to fit to as precisely as possible without loss of generalization, typically using least square error, the ADA boost error function takes into account the fact that only the sign of the final result will be used, thus can be far larger than one without increasing error. However, the exponential increase in the error for sample as increases results in excessive weight being assigned to outliers. One feature of the choice of exponential error function is that the error of the final additive model is the product of the error of each stage, that is. Thus it can be seen that the weight update in the ADA boost algorithm is equivalent to recalculating the error on after each stage. There is a lot of flexibility allowed in the choice of loss function. As long as the loss function is monotonic and continuously differentiable, the classifier will always be driven toward purer solutions. Zhang provides a loss function based on least squares, a modified Huber loss function. This function is more well behaved than logit boost for close to 1 or minus 1, does not penalize a euro over confident a euro unregistered trademark predictions, unlike unmodified least squares, and only penalizes samples misclassified with confidence greater than 1 linearly, as opposed to quadratically or exponentially, and is thus less susceptible to the effects of outliers. Boosting as gradient descent. Boosting can be seen as minimization of a convex loss function over a convex set of functions. Specifically, the loss being minimized by ADA boost is the exponential loss, whereas logit boost performs logistic regression, minimizing. In the gradient descent analogy, the output of the classifier for each training point is considered to be a point in n dimensional space, where each axis corresponds to a training sample. Each weak learner corresponds to a vector of fixed orientation and length, and the goal is to reach the target point, in the least number of steps. Thus ADA boost algorithms perform either Cauchy or Newton optimization of training error. Example algorithm, with, samples, desired outputs, initial weight set to, error function, weak learners, for in, choose, find weak learner that minimizes, the weighted some error for misclassified points, Choose. Add to ensemble. Update weights, for all i, renormalize such that, note, it can be shown that at every step, which can simplify the calculation of the new weights. Equals choosing equals, is chosen as it can be analytically shown to be the minimizer of the exponential error function for discrete ADA boost. Minimize. Using the convexity of the exponential function, and assuming that we have. We then differentiate that expression with respect to and set it to zero to find the minimum of the upper bound. Note that this only applies when, though it can be a good starting guess in other cases, such as when the weak learner is biased, has multiple leaves or is some other function. In such cases the choice of weak learner and coefficient can be condensed to a single step in which is chosen from all possible as the minimizer of by some numerical searching routine. Variance equals real ADA boost equals, the output of decision trees is a class probability estimate, the probability that is in the positive class. Friedman, Hasty and Tishirani derive an analytical minimizer for for some fixed. Thus, rather than multiplying the output of the entire tree by some fixed value, each leaf node is changed to output half the logit transform of its previous value. equals logit boost equals Logit boost represents an application of established logistic regression techniques to the ADA boost method. Rather than minimizing error with respect to Y, weak learners are chosen to minimize the error of with respect to, where, and. That is is the newton rofson approximation of the minimizer of the log likelihood error at stage, and the weak learner is chosen as the learner that best approximates by weighted least squares. As P approaches either 1 or 0, the value of becomes very small and the z-term, which will be large for misclassified samples, can become numerically unstable, due to machine precision rounding errors. 
This can be overcome by enforcing some limit on the absolute value of Z and a minimum value of W. Equals gentle ADA boost equals, while previous boosting algorithms choose greedily, minimizing the overall test error as much as possible at each step gentle boost features a bounded step size is chosen to minimize, and no further coefficient is applied. Thus, in the case where a weak learner exhibits perfect classification performance, gentle boost will choose exactly equal to, while steepest descent algorithms will try to set. Empirical observations about the good performance of gentle boost appear to back up Shapire and Singer's remark that allowing excessively large values of can lead to poor generalization performance. Equals early termination equals, a technique for speeding up processing of boosted classifiers, early termination refers to only testing each potential object with as many layers of the final classifier necessary to meet some confidence threshold, speeding up computation for cases where the class of the object can easily be determined. One such scheme is the object detection framework introduced by Viola and Jones, in an application with significantly more negative samples than positive. A cascade of separate boost classifiers is trained, the output of each stage biased such that some acceptably small fraction of positive samples is mislabeled as negative, and all samples marked as negative after each stage are discarded. If 50% of negative samples are filtered out by each stage, only a very small number of objects would pass through the entire classifier, reducing computation effort. This method has since been generalized with a formula provided for choosing optimal thresholds at each stage to achieve some desired false positive and false negative rate. In the field of statistics, where ADA boost is more commonly applied to problems of moderate dimensionality, early stopping is used as a strategy to reduce overfitting. A validation set of samples is separated from the training set, performance of the classifier on the samples used for training is compared to performance on the validation samples, and training is terminated if performance on the validation sample is seen to decrease even as performance on the training set continues to improve. Equals totally corrective algorithms equals, for steepest descent versions of ADA boost, where is chosen at each layer t to minimize test error, the next layer added is said to be maximally independent of layer t, it is unlikely that a weak learner t plus 1 will be chosen that is similar to learner t. However, there remains the possibility that T plus 1 produces similar information to some other earlier layer. Totally corrective algorithms, such as LOOP boost, optimize the value of every coefficient after each step, such that new layers added are always maximally independent of every previous layer. This can be accomplished by backfitting, linear programming or some other method. Equals pruning equals, pruning refers to the process of removing poorly performing weak classifiers, in order to improve the memory and execution time cost of the boosted classifier. The simplest methods, which can be particularly effective in conjunction with totally corrective training, are weight or margin trimming, when the coefficient, or the contribution to the total test error, of some weak classifier falls below a certain threshold, that classifier is dropped. Marginantu and Dietrich suggest an alternative criteria for trimming, Weak classifiers should be selected such that the diversity of the ensemble is maximized. If two weak learners produce very similar outputs, efficiency can be improved by removing one of them and increasing the coefficient of the remaining weak learner. See also, bootstrap aggregating, co-boosting, brown boost, gradient boosting. References Implementations, Ada Boost and the Super Bowl of Classifiers, a tutorial on Ada Boost. Ada Boost in C++, an implementation of Ada Boost in C++ and Boost by Antonio Gulli, Exaboost, an open source implementation of Boost Texter, JBOOST, a site offering a classification and visualization package, implementing Ada Boost among other boosting algorithms. MATLAB Ada Boost Toolbox includes real Ada Boost, gentle Ada Boost, and modest Ada Boost implementations. A MATLAB implementation of Ada Boost, multi-threaded MATLAB compatible implementation of Boosted Trees, Milk for Python implements Ada Boost. Boost++, a C++ implementation of the original Ada Boost MH algorithm and of an improved variant, the MPBoost algorithm, MultiBoost, 
a fast C++ implementation of multi-class multitask boosting algorithms. It is based on Ada Boost MH but also implements popular cascade classifiers and filter boost along with a batch of common multi-class base learners. Pattern Recognizer, a fast machine learning algorithm library written in C. It contains support vector machine, neural networks, Bayes, Boost, K nearest neighbor, decision tree, etc. Open CV implementation of several boosting variants, Inter contains open source implementations of many Ada Boost and Float Boost variants in C. Mallet Java implementation, Adabag Adabag, and a package for binary and multiclass boosting and bagging. Scikit Learn Python implementation, Fertilized Forests A general purpose, platform independent, easy to extend decision forest library that supports boosted training based on multiclass Ada Boost M2, SAM and SAM R. External links, a decision theoretic generalization of online learning and an application to boosting. Journal of Computer and System Sciences 55. 1997. DOI 10.1006/jcss. 1997.1504. Site Cirex 10.1.1.32.8918. Original paper of Yoav Freund and Robert E. Shapire where Ada Boost is first introduced. Boosting.org a site on boosting and related ensemble learning methods. Ada Boost presentation summarizing Ada Boost. Ada Boost example presentation showing an Ada Boost example. Freund. Shapire. A short introduction to boosting, introduction to Ada Boost, and a plot demonstrating Ada Boost. Policar, are ensemble based systems in decision making. IEE Circuits and Systems Magazine 6, 21 Euro 45. A tutorial article on ensemble systems including pseudocode, block diagrams and implementation issues for Ada Boost and other ensemble learning algorithms.